Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan from Arnie Music. Deep in the heart of Texas. Of Texas. <laughs> well, it's Saturday. I think today's the, is the ninth, maybe? I don't know. It's Saturday. Seventh? The ninth. Uh, so, it's vlog day, I guess. I've been doing these vlogs on Saturday, and I guess I'll keep going. I wasn't going to do one today, just because we had a really, really late night last night. I don't think I went to bed until like 2 or 3 a.m. Yeah, so, late night. I'm pretty tired today. Uh, so, I wasn't really feeling it this morning, but uh, I'm here at the shop, and it's kind of quiet. You know, it's, uh, it's interesting. Sometimes Saturdays are crazy days and I have people in all day long. Uh, and sometimes it's really quiet. The retail's like that. It's, it's, it's weird. When I worked for really large companies, sometimes it was like that. You never know what's going to happen. So far, well, actually, I take that back. I've already had a nice gentleman in, came in, uh, bought quite a bit of guitar strings and picks and stuff. A uh, nice young guy came in with his little three-year-old son who had a Michelangelo Ninja Turtle shirt on. That was awesome. So a nice chat with that guy. Uh, he's an EMT, works on an ambulance. Cool dude. So actually, no, we have done some business today, but uh, I'll do a little vloggy vlog vlog, I guess, for you guys. And girls. Okay. I need to plug in this camera and charge it, actually. Back soon. Woo doggy. Well, it is flipping hot. <laughs> in Texas today. I think the heat index yesterday was 107. <laughs> so for my UK brethren, that's like, I don't know, uh, 38 degrees Celsius or something like that. 38 and a half. I don't know. It's freaking hot. <sighs> and I wore black today, which is bad. We're indoors, but you know, whatever. So I'm trying to get myself back into a regular practice routine, but you know, we just had so much going on, you know, with the business and with the family life and then, uh, you know, medical stuff. It's been, you know, a bit mind boggling, you could say. So I'm trying to get back started into a regular routine and I find myself kind of like, crap, well, what, what should I do? It's like, I know what to do. But it's just sort of organizing it and then doing it. So let me show you guys where I'm at right now. Dad gum. So uh, I've been sitting for a while this morning practicing. <laughs> I might have to stand up for a little bit here in a bit. But uh, so I've got a little worksheet that I use that I created, just you know, on a word processor. Woo! You kind of see that guitar practice schedule. Number one, warm ups. <laughs> Number two, scales. Number three, chords. Four, lesson. Number five songs, right? So, I mean, you could break that up into, you know, categories if you wanted to. If you wanted to take your chords and separate those into chords, learning new chords, practicing changing chords, uh, then break that into a subsection on arpeggios, which would be arpeggio practice. You know, you could do warm-ups, you could break into technique, you could, you know, or that could be under the lesson, number four lesson, it could be legato. Like, hey, I need, I need to work on my legato, so you know, have a little legato section there that I'm going to work on. So I think, you know, making yourself a little outline of kind of sitting down and figuring out what what am I not good at that I actually really want to be good at. Because there are things you may not be good at that, that you don't care about. But, you know, if there's things that you want to do that you're just not that great at, figure that out. Just kind of make a mental note. Just write it down, you know. And then try to structure it. Right? Get your outline going first. You don't have to have all the exercises and everything set in stone, but go ahead and just get your outline, right? And then start there. Hi there. <laughs> I had to stand up. I do have to, I do have to, I just can't sit for forever. Even though I can sit down now, uh, you know, usually between lessons I'd get up and walk out and ask Angela to make a copy of something for me or, you know. So I do stuff to stand up throughout the day. It's helpful. Anyways. So, first things first, I'm not trying to solve all my problems or all my uh, challenges today. We're just starting. Number one, just start. Just start. 
get started. So I've sat down and you know a great thing to do before you do anything else is some warm-ups, right? Here is the challenge a lot of us face. Which ones? Because there is no shortage of crap out there that you can practice. I say crap, I mean stuff. There's no shortage of warm-ups you can spend your time doing. But I think you have to be careful to not get overwhelmed with like, you know, I've got 17 different warm-up exercises I'm going to work on. Right? And then we get caught up in playing the newest warm-up, or I saw this warm-up from this guy, or this, that, and the other. And we get caught up in, you know, doing that, all these different things, instead of, you know, really, really, really focusing. So, you know, when in doubt, keep it simple. Back to the basics, you know. So a great warm-up, and you all know this, guys, is what we call the one, two, three, four. Okay? We'll zoom in here in a minute. Right, the good old one, two, three, four, just right, you know, adjacent frets. Five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Great. So it's a great, you know, finger control thing here. Dexterity, excellent alternate picking exercise. Now, I think here the mistake is we automatically jump to, let's see how fast we can do it. Because Zach Wild can go, you know, crazy fast, right? Let's play it like Zach or let's play it like whoever else. But really, I think we got to go slow, right? So I've been working on this at uh, quarter note equals 50, 16th notes. Yeah, the metronome, right? Because at quarter note equals 50, 16th notes, I can really focus on my right hand, and am I being consistent? Am I using my fingers when I pick, or am I picking from my wrist, or am I using my arm, or am I am I being consistent with my picking, right? And to really analyze that, super annoying, right? You know, you gotta go slow. Interestingly enough, I've found by slowing things down and paying more attention to my picking hand that I, I've noticed that I tend to, you know, pick pick a lot with my fingers. With these first two fingers, I tend to use that to pick instead of just just a wrist movement, right? I tend to tend to do that versus that, or a combination thereof. You know, com completely un, you know, oblivious sort of to it, and then I, I found that that's sort of kind of hampering my ability. You know, we all want to go faster, so that's that's great. I want to go faster, but you know, I found that doing the uh, I think people call it sero picking that versus the wrist. I think is kind of a little roadblock that I've got to work on, but um, wouldn't have really discovered that. I mean, I kind of knew that I did that, but I wouldn't have really. I couldn't get the consistent picking from the wrist that I wanted without slowing things way down and starting at 50. So, pick a warm up. That's a great one. You know, just the straight one, two, three, four, up and down. I mean, yeah, you can move it all across the neck, and that, but you get caught up thinking about moving it across the neck. But maybe what you really need to think about is your your picking consistency. Are you picking each string consistently with the consistent angles, right? And is your timing Timing, timing is important. Timing is super important. So you gotta be able to do it consistently at a consistent speed. Check out this great guitar. Anyways, uh, so yeah, don't worry about, yeah, I used to practice this starting on the first fret, move it all the way up, all the way back down, all the way across, all over the place, right? And I was more focused on moving it around the neck than I was on the actually very, very important mechanics that I needed to be working on. So I was practicing it, but I wasn't doing it as effectively as I probably could have. Uh, so, go slow. <laughs> Think about what you're really trying to practice here. Is it's not getting all over the neck. 
what are the things you're really trying to work on. You know, you're keeping your fingers close to the fretboard. That's hard to do. We all sometimes you want to have the fingers flying away instead of keeping them really close when you're changing. That's hard to do. It's hard to break old habits. The best way to break them is to go super crazy slow. So uh, you can do it that way. Uh, maybe one variation on the warm up, just so you don't go crazy playing the same thing. And the variation that I liked and I've been playing today is repeating a string. Let me show you. repeats you know you end up with eight notes on a string before you change that's a great variation on it but don't try to do like 10 million different variations you know anyways enough of me yapping i was wrong about the date see <laughs> that's what i get for staying up all night it's actually a trap no it's uh saturday the 6th i don't know why i thought it was the 8th got a pretty sweet uh desk calendar on my birthday in December. I've just now started using it. Yesterday was uh, the 5th, you rebel scum. Today it's a trap. What's for lunch? I tell you what, that big old dang dang gas station pizza right there across the street, man. That gas station pizza is real good right there. Sure is. Wanna see? <laughs> yeah, gas station pizza. Now the trick is you ask them to make it for you with extra cheese. Extra cheese, because normal cheese is not enough cheese. I've had three slices. That's it. That's my limit. I can't have no more. But I'm saving the rest for later. I'll take it home tonight. Kids will have it. Or, or I'll have it for dinner. I, you know, I don't know. Well, look at that guitar. That's, that's nice. It's that's real pretty. <laughs> so I got a friend in the shop. It's my man, Pete. We're uh, doing a little experiment here on the uh, Schecter E1 Custom uh, involving the pick guard. Because mm -hmm. uh, I did a video a while back where we showed what was under it. I assumed it was just guitar. I knew there wasn't any routing there, but I wanted to see. And I kind of thought it was a... Uh, I'm not sure how I felt about the pit guard, so Pete's helping me out with some stuff. It kind of seemed a shame to have a black triple ply pit guard over this beautiful quilted top. Yeah, I thought so. So we're doing a little experiment, and he's got uh, a template over here. And uh, we're not going to show you what it is, though. We're going to wait. We'll do the big reveal. What's under the cardboard? What's under the cardboard? <laughs> Does anybody. Anybody know? <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Yeah, I think so. Got it all cut. It's roughed in. Got the holes drilled, countersunk, and it's coming by to see if it fits. Yep. And if it fits, we'll move on from there. And so far, so far it's fitting. Slides in. All the holes line up. It needs a little bit of fine tuning, but other than that, it seems to be pretty good. Yeah. It's good for a rough template. We'll make the actual piece here in the next couple days and uh, get it on there and we'll reveal to you what we're doing with it after that. We'll do the big reveal next week, but uh, yeah. So it's been fairly quiet. Well, I've sold some stuff today. We just had a guy come in to get some pro audio. I say pro audio. XLR cables. He got a mic cable. <laughs> he needed a mic cable. So I was saying earlier today, it's like you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes Saturdays so I have people in here nonstop. I've had that, where it's just people all day long. Yeah. Strings, picks, guitars, mm -hmm. cables, microphone stands. And then I've had Saturdays where it's like, hey, it's just me. I think I'm gonna play some guitar today. That's when you get, get your practice in. Yeah, well that's what today was. I was trying to make happen. So, But it's been fairly busy, but this is good. I'm glad you're here because I'm a little, I don't wanna play this too much without a pick guard. Right. 
but um, I was about to. <laughs> I think I've decided to keep this one. This one is always, I was going to keep it, and I thought, no, nah, I'll sell it. If somebody wants it, I'll sell it. But now I think I'm going to keep it. Because if someone wants to buy one, we'll just order one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got one they can try out, and you can yeah. order them a brand new one. Yeah, that's what I do. A lot of times I'll have, like I have uh, one of these CMGs. Two of these are for sale. That one and that one. That one's mine and Angela's. But I keep it here, so I play on it in lessons and stuff, and videos. But also to show the people, hey, this is, uh, this is the base model, Georgia Sunset. This is the Georgia Sunset with all the fancy schmancy mm -hmm. other stuff, you know, so. So it's here. The arm cut. It's not, that one's not for sale. Like, you can't buy that. Probably, I was about to say, I was like, well, if there's enough money, you probably could. Somebody could buy if they wanted to. Yeah, but, but it would have to be for the right price. It would, it would have to be more than what the normal price is because of the special. Add a zero to the serial number? Yeah. Because it's got the magic serial number. Have you showed Selfie people stick. that? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's 326, which is our anniversary. Not mine and Pete's, but no. mine and We're Angela's. We're not married. No, no. Uh, mine and Angela's wedding anniversary is yeah. the serial number, so it's... You gotta, you gotta keep it. Of course. You gotta keep it. So that's, that's our CMG. I would prefer a trans black one. <laughs> like yes. The one I showed you the other day. Yes. It's a beautiful guitar. That was awesome. Absolutely beautiful. But uh, it doesn't have the magic number. No. So, so what's going to happen is I'm going to have to buy another CMG guitar. We were, just talk, we were just talking about business and stuff. Yeah. And uh, owning your own business and doing your own jobs. And it's tough. It's, it's tough. And but I said, rewarding. But I have a lot more guitars now. Yes. <laughs> so I forgot to mention that. <laughs> That's the other perk of having the own business is like my guitar collection, personal, has really blossomed <laughs> yes. Yes. since the store started. So, Oh, uh, let's tell, tell people what else you do because I think that's fascinating. Working on hot rods. Oh, yeah. Besides building guitars and doing work on guitars and stuff here in Canton, I am a part of a shop called Torque Design in Tyler, Texas. We build high-end custom hot rods and show cars. Yeah. Which is, that's the day job. And the hobby slash night job is fiddling with musical instruments. Hot rods by day, guitars by night. It's the rock star life. That's, yeah, living the dream. I guess so. I, yeah, well, I saw a picture on one of your Instagram about the, y'all machined out some billet wheels or something like that. Yes. Cust custom machined wheels or something? We, uh, we have a shop that we work with, which is uh, the owner of the shop I work in. It's his brother. He's in Florida. It's a Spark Design, Spark Motors. He uh, CNC's all aluminum stuff for us. Wow. So he makes all kinds of awesome stuff, which is kind of funny because him and I have a pretty good relationship and he is machining some stuff for me for the guitar business. Pickup covers, uh, aluminum templates. That's cool. Uh, he can do, he's done me a lot of different things. He can do about anything he wants. So we're working on some interesting little side projects right now. I didn't think about that. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's in connections. It's all about connections. Just because he does aerospace and marine stuff doesn't mean he can't do hot rod stuff and guitar stuff. Yeah. Uh, aerospace? He does aerospace. It's, well, it's pretty cool. So making a couple of guitar parts is probably not... It's pretty yeah, easy. Not uh, insane. It's not like people's lives depend on No. No. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, this is Pete. And uh, you can check him out on Instagram. Rosebud Guitars. Rosebud Guitars. Pretty much everywhere. At Rosebud Guitars. Facebook, Rosebud Guitars. Uh, Rosebud Guitars. Rosebud guitars. Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, Tumblr. Twitter. YouTube? I have one. Just don't use it very much? I don't have the camera equipment to really do what I want to do with it because I'm really OCD like that. So, not right now. Maybe eventually. I have plans. I just do. I just make do. Like, ideally, I would have a real camera. I mean, this is a good camera. <laughs> That's a good camera. But it's not. It's a, better than what I have. It's, it's better than my iPhone. Yeah, it's not a DSLR. I don't have all the fancy lighting like you're supposed to have. But uh, I what, can help you with that. What I've learned is content. Content Con is key. Content is ultimately more important yes. than, you know, you don't have crap lighting. Let me see if I can find some crap lighting. There's some there crap lighting. There it is. Lighting. There's crap lighting. This is a bit better. But, yeah, if your content's good, I mean, people are going to watch but oh yeah eventually i keep i've said this for like six years now i'm gonna buy some good lighting one day you don't have to buy good lighting you can make good lighting i've heard that i, I can just, help you with that 
we, we should check that out. We should do. We should do that. For we'll, sure. do, we'll do a video about it. Why not? Sounds awesome. All right. Stay tuned for the Schechter Fun and uh, other cool guitar stuff from Rosebud Guitars. Canton, Texas. Yep. Right deep, here in Canton, Texas. Deep in the heart of Texas. How exciting. That's where we're at. So excited. See, I watched the videos. <laughs> yeah. You've seen those. <laughs> I've seen the videos. Yeah. I'm excited. I am too. All right. Later. See ya. That's a wrap. There's my other big helper. Oh, coming to help me load up all my stuff. What have you been doing? Watching Star Trek. Star Trek? <laughs> Unfortunately. You're getting an education in Star Trek? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's no Star Wars, is it? No. Star Wars is way better. It will always be better. I know. That's what I've been saying. Let's go home. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Oh, lighting. <laughs> Need better lights. Yeah, okay. What'd you uh, What'd you make today while I was at work? I made a sign that's gonna go above our TV. Yeah. Yeah. It's this thing pool. I'm not done with it. I just got the base, out, the words, and the outlines, and the little leafy things. Yeah. Um, the branches, the olive branches, I guess. And uh, so I have to erase. This is a crack. So it's not, oh, in the uh, wood. yeah, it's not a mistake. It's just a, <laughs> but I have to go through and outline it again and clean it up and then put the hangers on the back. It's pretty heavy. So oh, wow. Big. Yeah, that's right. That's solid. Yeah, it's solid. It was a shelf that was in a closet that isn't getting used. I found it up against the wall in one of our hallway closets and I thought. Here at the house? Yeah. Nice. So I thought I might as well just paint it. And then someone gave me another idea. If paint one side, and then I can paint the other side with something else. Reversible. Yes, yeah, so it can be reversible. So, yeah, this is what I did. And I kills, put some kills on a painting that I had before. So I can start over fresh. Oh, you're going to repaint it? Fresh canvas. Yes, so I don't have to purchase canvas. I could just... Recycle. Recycle canvas. You had an artsy fartsy day. Yes, and then I had this little wooden cabinet that I'm gonna use for shoes. Oh, I can't see that. There's no lights in here. Sorry. So, it's just a brown old bookshelf cabinet that needed some love. Awesome. So I have some chalk paint that has one coat on it. So that, says, that's where our shoes are gonna go? So, so you tell the difference between two coats and one. I can't on uh, without any light. Oh, <laughs> can't well. tell anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. Looks about the same. So yeah, got my paints up here. Then I'm gonna do the inside shell cabinets with a dark color, and then the backboard. I'm gonna decoupage some craft paper on the back so it'll be all decorated and stuff. So, nice. Yeah. So excited. Yes.